welcome to Straw Family Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we have James 1, 12. Blessed, blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised him to them that love him. So just trying to be what I'm supposed to be. Endure temptation. Um, just trying to practice self-control, um, trying to diet a little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't have anything totally hooked. And, um, yeah, I've got in the basket and I'm going to show you all three things I have to work on. Um, so first is just a refresher on the sweater that I'm making for myself. If you remember, uh, Worm ate my stitch markers. So, yeah, I still have, I, I'm at the exact same place as I was. That's the back. And, of course, here is the front. And it is all the way up to the armpits. I just have to do my, I have to decide what I'm going to do with my neck and my arms. So, there's that. Um. Yeah, <sighs> here in a little bit, I'll tell you. And the pattern is still in here. It's crumpled, but still have the pattern. I looked at this the other day and thought I was going to start back with it because, honestly, I haven't made any progress on it. Well, and I just, it's still in timeout. Just <sighs> haven't done it. Um, the other one that I did pick up and... I maybe did 50 stitches is this one right here. And this is the oops, uh, reversible little poncho thing that you put over a shirt. So, yeah, I still have it. Still, like I said, picked it up, maybe did 50 stitches, finished out that one row, and that was it. I just, I don't know. Just don't know. Um, this one, of course, is the blanket. And I have started on the pink. I think I showed you this last time. I have the birch pink row done. And I'm working my way around it. And I did make some more squares. I don't even know how many I've done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Almost a complete row. I think there's 13 on the pink row. So I've got almost another row done. Um, honestly, that's all I have here at the house that I'm working on uh, for crochet. I did um, take the initiative. I don't know if, if you haven't been watching that long. About a year ago, I did... Um, I joined the Mary Maxim Club. I did, I did a blanket first, and then for a while I did their monthly kit until it got to where I just thought that I can do this. Yeah, right. No. So it really inspired me to try different yarns and make different things and try different patterns that um, I did because they have t tutorials on all of them. So if I got stuck on it the heck is this saying i could go and and look at the tutorial and go oh that makes sense um and some of them i didn't like the way it worked so i redid them <laughs> but they did one thing for me they inspired me to, to crochet and right now i just seem to be at a lull um i'm not crocheting as much and i don't like that i i like to just sit in the evening and crochet sometimes mindlessly sometimes you know, exercise my brain, but uh, here in the last, well, you've known about the last month, I really haven't done a lot of crochet and I haven't made any progress on anything. And I just, I'm not inspired to crochet and that sucks because I love crochet. It's what I do. So, um, I not only Oh, excuse me, I'm belching. Ugh. 
not only did I join the club, I also ordered, um, I think six skeins of yarn, four or six. I can't remember if I decided to get the other one or not. I know I ordered four. Might have ordered six. But I got them on sale, and I think I got the four that I know I got. Each cake was 400 yards, and I got two of each kind. So, you know, and they were on sale for like $4.99. So, and then I got, I had a $5 off coupon. And so, yeah, I probably spent, and then shipping and handling, of course, was added on there. And I think I spent 40 bucks and got either four or six. I want to say I got six, but you know how that goes. You, you do. I looked at so many of them that I really just don't know. Um, let me see. And I was hoping that, you know, I could just pull up. Okay, here's my order. And it says order confirmed. Thank you for your purchase. View your order. That's what we need. Because I can't remember. And I'll see if I can show you on here um, what I ordered. Let's see. Okay, so I spent a whole $35. Mm, it doesn't show me. Okay, here it is. Oh, I did get six. So I got an APL Dazzle yarn. I got two of those in the burgundy color. And then I got, and those were just seven ninety eight. They weren't as many yards. I want to say they were only like two hundred yards. So I'll have to do something like a hat and that with it. Then I got um, shawl and a ball metallic yarn, and I got a brown, and what are they? They're calling an opaque, which looks white to me. Um, but one is naturals and one is, and I got two of those, and those were the ones that were four hundred something yards it was just over 400 i think but anyway i got those two i gave a whole 35 dollars and 93 cents that includes shipping and handling my five dollar off coupon and literally i'm going to get six skeins of yarn i don't know because i can't really make this it's not letting me make it bigger so i don't know that you can see there's a burgundy dazzle lion brand shawl on a ball metallic yarn the opaque and then, so, yeah, I ordered those. And, um, I, uh, decided, which, yeah, in my phone down. <laughs> so, then I also ordered the kits to start them up. I'm probably just going to do them for like six months and get, inspired again, get some patterns, get looking. I haven't even wanted to go look at patterns. I don't know. Um, I haven't even, and you guys know my love. I haven't even started. I was going to start spinning that, um, South down squishy roving. I got at the fiber festival. Haven't done that either. And then I was going to dye the three of them to use in a project. I haven't done that either. <sighs> I, I, I don't know. I, I guess, and I'm not burnt out. I want to do it. I just, I'm like, eh, well, later. I don't know. The other thing that, all right, let's just go down through it. That's in the baskets, in the pots, on the wheel, nothing. Cause I, I just told you I didn't start it. I wanted to, but I just, no oomph to do it. Is that so? Um, in the field, I ripped out the garden. The bell peppers are up front for greenery. They're not doing anything. Uh, the rabbits and mice and everything, because it's drought here. It's just, yeah, not happening. So, ripped that out. Uh, actually, I just mowed over it. I did keep, I tried to get some seeds from one of them, but I don't know. We'll see how that goes next year. Uh, RJ's World, pretty much, he's just been working and rodeoing. Um, doing okay. He texted me the other day and, you know, if you followed us for any length of time, uh, there's a couple people out there and they know who they are. Uh, they know that he very rarely asks for books. 
But he texted me the other night. He said, Mom, I really want you to get me this book. And I said, okay, fine. It was 12 bucks paperback. It'll arrive to the house. Um, he has been, there's been three books he's read from front to back, cover to cover, that were not a school assignment. Okay? Um, in school, I made him. Uh, he hated it. But anyway, he's just not a reader. He, he does read. He knows how to read. He just would rather be out active. So, um, he read Fred Whitfield's Gold Buckle Dreams. Then he read one, I can't remember the name of it, but it was written by a tennis player and it, it talks about your mental game. Um, and it translates to life and sports and everything, not just tennis. And then this one. So, uh, I immediately got online, bought it, and shipped it to the farm. He should get it. <laughs> you know? I even included a little gift note, you know, love you, kiddo, mom, you know. Um, but, yeah, so he wanted that, and he said it's going to help his mental game, which is fine. Uh, but other than that, he's just rodeoing um, him. And his other half, um, I'm not really sure what to call her. He has given her a promise ring. He says when he gets his life straightened out and gets to where he can comfortably feel like he can support her, he wants to marry her. So, um, yeah, that is what it is. So his other half, they've been together like three years. So it's not like it's a big surprise. Um. They are both, she's headed to Elk City, he is headed somewhere else, but last night they realized neither one of their generators work. So they're going to bring it by and use the shop to fix the carburetor on the generator. Um, I think we can get RJ's here faster, so we're going to fix his, she's going to drop hers off, pick his up, and she's leaving for Elk City, which is way down there. Um, but I haven't been idle for lack of any other word um with all of this so they're rodeo and they're doing and i'm obviously not crocheting but i am here in the office for a reason <laughs> and i did have a lesson learned and so i guess i've just been more in the sewing mood so i think i showed you all this one <laughs> sorry it just down and that's not a good me. Okay. I'm gonna have to move you. You know I hate to do this. But it what has to be has to be. And yeah, you can tell I do this just for one take wonders. Still are, still will be. Okay, and now my camera froze up, so I'm not sure what you're seeing. But here is this one. Um, I don't know if you can see the bottom of it. It's here. I like it. I ordered this little pink belt. It kind of rides up from time to time, so I kind of, yeah. But this one is almost a mauve eggplant color, and it goes cute with the pink. And then, let me back up here. So... I also, now this one still has pins because I don't have the, I don't have it hemmed or the um, sleeves are going to look like this. Of course, they still look like this and this one has pins in it. And then it, now this one does not have the pleats in the back or anything like that. I'm just going to let it kind of bunch up and then we'll see if it needs pleats. Okay, and it's a mint green. I don't know. The two colors really go together, and that's why I got the pink belt. It all kind of goes. Um, so I worked on that one. Then I had some leftovers. I had quite a bit of leftovers of the green, and I'll tell you what I plan on doing with them. So I had started just with this material, and I had made these little shorts. But I didn't have enough for the bodice to cover my big kahuna. Oop. Sorry. So I used a strip of the green and made the top. So I have a nice little pair of shorts. They're not hemmed to sleep in. 
Um, they're not something I'm going to wear out. They're made of scraps, you know. And on part of it, you can see the lines from the, uh, that's the edge of the material. So I get the most out of the material. But I'm the only one that's going to be seeing these. So I can sleep in them, right? <laughs> so then there's that. Then I decided, and I know you can see it back here in the thing. I had quite a bit of the green left over. And so I decided I was going to make myself a nighty. And it came out cute. I thought I just had to hem it. Okay, it's kind of a long night, yeah. And I had this big piece. Of course, this was folded in half, and I had quite a bit left. And what it is is that, number one, that other shirt didn't have sleeves. And number two, I learned better how to, like these, I did four pieces and sewed them together. Those, I adjusted it and did it on the um, fold. So I got more for my, more material, or no, what do I want to say? More pattern out of the material. Let's put it that way. So um, I did that, but then I made this beautiful thing. Now it's not done here. I have to adjust the strap and I need to hem it still. But other than that, and I, oh wait, and I don't have, I was going to put an elastic waistband in it just so that it, gathers because I do have it gathered back here. And as you can see, it's kind of not done. And it's, I'm, I'm a bigger person. So elastic, you know, kind of defines, if you put elastic where you want defined, it kind of helps make it look narrower. So I was going to put a little waist and that way when it poofs out, it covers my big kahuna and, and my gut, then it would look like I had a waist. Okay. So I tried this on. Roommate was hysterical. Died laughing. So I have my mannequin here and I, I, I've used it for length. I've used it for, you know, shorts. I've used it for shirts that are very plain Jane, um, which is great. There's one thing that I did not take into account. This shirt fits across here because it's a loose kind of boxy shirt. This was made to cover the front. And so, yeah, Miss Mannequin um, is a B cup. I am not. Um, I am much larger than that. And so when this happened, you could hear laughs through the whole house, like in stitches, thought it was hilarious that I now can't. So, um, this of course is a leftover mom and this is all there was because I made that little pair of shorts and I had this little bit left and I thought, what am I going to do with that? So I thought I'd, you know, when I make my nightgown, I'll just make that the, you know, top part, and then I'll have the green on the bottom. That didn't work, and I don't have any more to enlarge this. So, my nightgown, I have plenty down here. I'm literally going to shorten it so that I have this down here to make a new top. So that, and honestly, taking this out, um, I have to undo this stitch right here and take this off. And then I have to undo from here to here where these pins are. And this just slides down in the waistband. So, yeah, it, it's an easy fix. I do have more material. It's just all going to be green. And plus I got a top. Now, here's the good thing. Um, the one thing that I haven't said a whole lot about is the cost. I gave, I got the two things of material on sale and I got them for, oops, I got them for, I want to say it was 1760 something. So $18. Now, if you look at everything I've made out of it, I didn't buy any thread. I already had it. I didn't buy any needles. I already had it. So for $17, I got, I will get, okay. A nightgown, two shirts, and a pair of sleep shorts. 
um, those sleep shorts I can throw a t-shirt on with and, you know, be good. Then I've got the two shirts for work. I did, you know, the belt. If you want to count that, I gave $12.99 for it. So I still, even with the $12.99 and the $17, we're looking at less than $40 for a nightgown, two shirts, and a pair of sleep shorts. And I had fun doing it. Um, this one kind of made me mad, but, <laughs> but at least I did have fun and I still have the elastic to put in, you know, and it's, I was actually just going to put the elastic from here around to there. And that's why the pins were there and then have this look flat. Now my mannequin's tummy is flat too. And it's not, I think I'm going to dress her up. Now I have some ideas on how to avoid this. Okay. Um, in the future. I think I'm going to take an old brassiere and I'm going to cut the straps off. And I'm, this is, it's got like a material over it. So I think I'm literally going to make her as endowed as I am with an old brassiere and just pin it to it so that it stays there forever. I'll just safety pin it on and then that'll be my thing. And I've thought about making her, a little bit of a tummy because see this looks great and flat. It doesn't look like this on me because I do have this. Um, I am trying to lose a little bit of weight, but it is what it is and it'll get there one way or another. So anyway, that is what I have been working on, <laughs> but not without complication. And, um, like I said, my crochet, I don't know. I put it on the back burner and I just, it's almost like forcing myself to do it. And I don't, I love crochet. I just don't feel like doing it. So I think I've just lost the glamour in these three because they're very repetitive. Um, if I could just snap my fingers and have them done, I would, but I can't. So I am going to inject, I have a three day weekend coming up. I am going to work on my nightgown, of course, because all I have to do is that top and that I'm going to do properly. Um, and then these three things, I want to try and knock out one of them and I don't know which one. And I want to spin that, uh, other, uh, robing that I got at the fiber festival, the South down scrunchie. And then maybe by having options to get that in the dye pot, maybe I'd be more enthusiastic. I don't know. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm just not energized to do it. So if you guys have any ideas on other than joining the club again, and I thought if I saw different patterns and felt different, um, yarns every month for a couple of months that maybe it would help me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and, get some spark back in my crochet. In the meantime, yes, I'm, I'm, uh, sewing. So it's not like I'm idle. Uh, you guys know, I, I don't just sit and not do anything. Um, but yeah. And I have been pretty faithful about doing at least five to 10 minutes every day. I try to do longer, but I don't have 30 minutes to spend on that. So, you know, it's like, and I like to do it in the mornings. That's my thing is yes, I like to get up and get in the mornings. Dogs are out potty kind of thing. So I am trying to get into a routine. I am trying to get a little bit healthier. Um, I mean, more salads. But here's the thing. Not only has the spark gone from, and it's not that I'm depressed. I'm not blah. I'm not anything. I go to work. I, I laugh. I'm still me. Um, but we haven't even wanted to eat dinner. Like it becomes a big discussion. We don't know. And this is when I decided that I was going to try and get better at planning out meals because the other day we sat and ate cereal. Neither one of us could figure out what we wanted for dinner. We ate a bowl of cereal. That is not nutritious. Okay. So, um, this weekend we went to the grocery store. We planned out some casseroles and, uh, roommates night to cook and my nights to cook and we talked 
we actually planned instead of just throwing stuff in the freezer. It's your night, you know, and you go in and cook whatever. <sighs> we didn't do that. We actually talked about it, planned out a few things. Um, I made some casseroles, which we reheated and, and I did do them a little on the lighter side. Um, they're more of a pasta and cheese. And I think the last one I did had some pepperoni. I did tomato sauce, pepperoni, cheese, and macaroni and just kind of layered some of it in there and, you know, and, uh, yeah, we did that. And then, um, it's my night tonight. So I went ahead and made, and I just did sausage with cheese and macaroni again. It's not heavy. It's not super, super light, but it's filling. Um, and I'm using, I think, I can't remember pen. It's hollow tube macaroni instead of, you know, so it, it's got a little bit more consistency to it. But other than that, like I said, we just, and I don't know if it's the heat, if it's the weather change, my sinus has been draining. I don't know what. I'm just not. I am happy. I am content. I'm not unhappy or depressed. I just have no motivation for a whole lot. And I need to kick that. I need to get. I want to say back to being me, but I am me. I'm just, I don't know. Just run out of energy, I guess. I don't know. So hopefully I will find my mojo and get back with it and be back to um, being as creative and active as I was. But and, and the thing is, is I don't know where my time goes because I still do the household chores, do the laundry, my pantry and drying right now. So who knows? I, I, I don't know. But I guess we all go through phases and I'm not being lazy. I am always doing something. But then at the end of the night, it's like, I feel like sometimes I didn't get anything done, but I was busy the entire time. So I don't know. Uh, the last thing that I have, and then I'm going to wrap this up, is the three ducks that were down on the pond is now down to two. It looks like a coon got a hold of the white one. And they're not catchable ducks. Yes, they're domesticated ducks, but they're not like RJ and I used to handle them. These came from someone else. They were already grown. They weren't human imprinted. So it's not like you can go out there and catch them at night and put them up or anything. So they just live on the pond kind of like wild. I do supply them with corn as needed. And okay, I supply them with corn every day, whether they need it or not. But anyway, <laughs> I walk down there and check them. Um, but yeah, so Mr. White Duck um, is gone. He fell victim to the circle of life. So there's a coon or a skunk or a possum somewhere that had a good meal. Um, the black one and the brown one are still down there. I honestly think he was just too visible at night. So, yeah. Anyway. All right. I'm going to get off of here. I've got to get ready. i got to go see if my pants are dry. That's all I have to do is put on my face and put my pants on and I can go to work. But I got some dishes I need to finish up from making that casserole this morning. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And if you have any ideas on how to get my mojo back besides what I've already done, you let me know. Have a great week. Bye.